clear sky. Yeah. Oh. Wonderful. What a life. So my kitchen in spring. <laughs> no, it's... Uh, yeah, it's spring. Yeah, it is early spring. That's nearly a week. But you know... No, actually I think someone said... It's so stupid. Someone said that the CO2 is increasing the temperature on the Earth, making the, the climate change. <laughs> but isn't that right? Right? No. No, no, no. Do you, look, a clear blue sky, an airplane yeah. coming across. Yeah, you see. And you can see. You can see the airplane all the way. Yeah. Very, very good. Yeah. So? And what's wrong with that? The, the airplane is polluting. He's laying down CO2 all the time. Burn fuel. No? That's why we're warmer. You know, Al Gore. You know who that is? He is. He, 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 America. Yeah. Vice he, president. He, he was nearly a president, but happily he wasn't. Well, Ronald Reagan was his president, was that right? Yeah. Hmm. No, wasn't it Bush? Junior. No, not Bush Junior. Was it? Yeah, I think it. I think Al Gore lost for Bush in uh, in uh, Florida. Yeah, well, his brother was running there, Jed Bush, who's the governor of Florida. Okay. Well, well, what does he say then? He said that because the we are creating CO two mm -hmm. in the earth. I mean, in the air. It increases the temperature, and it showed a curve showing that yeah. CO two went up, and the temperature the went up. So, if there were no more aeroplanes flying above, the temperature would drop. No, no. You know, it is exactly the opposite. When the temperature is going up, and the sea water is going warmer, going warmer, the sea water is releasing a lot of CO2 and then the CO2 increases in the, in but, the air. But when the CO2 goes in the air? Yeah, that, that and the opposite, when the temperature goes down, the ocean sucks back the CO2. Reabsorbs it. That is how it is. So the temperature is directly affected by the, the CO2. The temperature is controlling it. Yeah. So it is so stupid to say we can adjust the temperature on the earth by two degrees they are talking about now yeah. the only way to do that is to adjust a bit the fire on the sun because <laughs> it's always the same mm. but how can you prove your point oh you can't prove it yes you know water with gas mm -hmm. i mean sparkling water yeah that is Water with CO2. Yeah. And water without no gas. Still water. Still yeah. water is without CO2. Or it's a bit mm. little. So if you take a bottle with water and a bottle with sparkling water and put a balloon on, then we can see the CO2 is will be released from the water. Yeah. Over we one. can try that. Yeah, but how, how much time are you going to? Oh, do you mean over a period of time? If we put hours? it, yeah. If we put the bottle in the fridge, yeah, with water with and sparkling water, sparkling water mm -hmm. taking out from the fridge, mm -hmm. and then the sun will heat it up, mm -hmm. and it will release CO2, and then when the sun goes down, and in the night when it gets cold, the water reabsorbs. The water will suck back the CO2, so I think the balloon will go up in the day and go down in the night. So nature, you're saying that water breathes? Yeah, CO2. Hmm. We'll try that, okay? 
I'd be very surprised if that worked. You would be surprised? Yeah, I would be surprised. Why? You know I'm always right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, prove it. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> I'll show you what we are doing. We take two bottles of water. One with gas. No, this is water. This is compact, it's gas. Let's try that. And I put some balloons on it and we put it here in the sun so we can see if one of them are filling the balloon with gas. And that should be CO2, because this is only CO2. So let's see. Thirty second, half a minute. Okay. <laughs> 